This video lesson is about the area of triangle. But before we proceed to our new lesson, which is finding the area of triangle, let me show you something. So I have here a two triangles. So this is the first triangle and a second triangle. What have you observed on a new polygon? It forms a parallelogram. So it tells us that parallelogram can be divided into two triangles. So if we divide the parallel parallelogram by two, it forms two triangles. So why I'm going to show you this? Because later on we must uh, say that it is useful to understand the formula in getting the or in finding the area of triangle. So let's start. So what is area? Area, it is the space occupied by a flat sheet. So in this lesson, I will show you the area of a triangle. So the parts on this polygon is base and height. So how to find or how to get the area of triangle? So we must use a formula so formula for this is one half times the base times height or a equals b times h over 2 so if you would remember that the base times height is the formula for the parallelogram and a while ago i presented uh, the two triangles which is equal to a parallelogram and we see that parallelogram can be divided into two triangles. So in this formula, we use the formula of parallelogram. And we just add divide it by two to get the area of triangle. So let's start on my example so that you can fully understand on how to find the area of triangle. So example number one. So I have here a triangle whose base is 6 meters and a height of 8 meters. So we use the formula 1 half times the base times height or base times height over 2. So just substitutes the measurements of the base and the height. And we have 1 half open parenthesis 6m times 8m close parenthesis so in this we use also this so we come up with this next step with which is one half times 48 meters squared and or 48 divided by 2 meters squared how to get the 48 so we just multiply 1 or times the 48 and just divide it by 2 and 48 divided by 2 it will give you 24 meters squared so in this in this um, triangle the area is 24 meters squared or 24 squared meter so next example which has a base of 10 meters and a height of 5 meters just use the formula and substitute the measurements so 10 times 5 it will give you 50 and divided by 2 so 50 divided by 2 it will give you 25 meter squared or 25 squared meter next Example number three which has a base of five meters and four meters So just use the formula and substitutes the measurements So the base has five meters and a height of four meters. So we just multiply five times four It will give you a 20 and divide it by two so 20 divided by 2 
come up to a 10 meter squared or 10 squared meter so let's try another example Sample number 4 has a base of 5 meters and a height of 2 meters. So just use the formula and substitute the measurements. So what do you think is the answer for this one? So first multiply 5 times 2 and it will give you a 10. So what do you think is the area for this example? 10 divided by 2, it will give you a five meter squared or five squared meter and let's proceed to our last example which is example number five and a triangle has 10 meters and a height of nine meters so just use the formula and substitute the measurements What do you think is the answer for the 10 times 9? 10 times 9, it will give you 190. So what do you think is the area for this example? 90 just divide by 2. 90 divided by 2. So what do you think is the answer? Correct, it is 45 meters squared. So, let's proceed on your activity time. So, for the activity time, I will give you 30 seconds or more minutes for you to answer this activity. So, find the area of the first, second, and third triangles. So, first triangle has these measurements second has this and the last triangle has this measurements so i'll give you 30 seconds to find the area of this three triangles and just remember the formula base times height over two so you just multiply the base and the height and just divide it by two to come up to the area of triangle so your 30 seconds starts now fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Time is up. So let's try to answer each uh, polygon and try to check your work if it is the same with my answer. So my first area in the first triangle is 12 meters squared or 12 squared meter so i'm just multiply six times four which is 24 and divide it by two to come up with a 12 meter squared next second triangle my answer for this is 20 meter squared or 20 squared meter so i'm just multiplied eight times five it will give you a 40 and divide it by 2 to come up to 20 meters squared or 20 squared meter. And the last, 30 meters squared. So I'm just multiplying the 10 and the 6 which is 30, uh, which is 60 and divide it by 2 to come up with a 30 meters squared or 30 squared meter of my answer. So Thank you for listening and see you on my next topic.